This is a great perfection of any bodhisattva who, unattached to all dharmas, wants to know full enlightenment, and who yet is not enlightened about any dharma, or who turns the wheel of dharma and yet does not show up any dharma. For no dharma is here got at, no dharma is indicated, and no dharma moves on any dharma. For absolutely, reproduction is alien to all dharmas. Nor does, nor can any dharma turn back any other dharma. From the beginningless beginning any and all dharmas are not being reproduced, since their essential nature is isolated. The Lord, so it is, sub hoodie. For emptiness does neither proceed nor recede, and such holds good also for the signless and the wishless. To demonstrate this is to demonstrate all dharmas. But no one has demonstrated this, no one has heard this, no one has received this, and no one realizes this, in this past, present or future. Nor by this demonstration of dharma does anyone ever go to nirvana. Nor by this demonstration of dharma has anyone ever been made worthy of gifts. Modes and qualities of perfect wisdom. Subhuti, this is perfection of such as no thing whatsoever is not, as space is not something which is. Perfection of wisdom equals any such as unequaled, dharmas are not apprehended. Perfection of wisdom is isolated, on account of absolute emptiness. Perfection of wisdom cannot be crushed, as dharmas are not apprehended. Perfection of wisdom is trackless, as both body and mind are absent. Perfection of wisdom has no own being, neither comes nor goes. Perfection of wisdom is inexpressible, as any dharmas are not discriminated. Perfection of wisdom is nameless, as any skandhas whatsoever cannot be apprehended. Perfection of wisdom does not go away, as having not come hither, no dharma ever goes away. One cannot partake of this perfection of wisdom, as no dharma can be seized. Perfection of wisdom is inexhaustible, as indelible to inexhaustible dharma. Perfection of wisdom has no genesis, as no dharma ever really comes about. Perfection of wisdom does nothing, as no doer can be apprehended. Perfection of wisdom does not generate, cognize, anything, as any and all dharmas are without self. Perfection of wisdom does not pass on, as here is no genesis of decease or rebirth. Perfection of wisdom does not discipline, as this past, future and present periods are not apprehended. Perfection of wisdom is as a dream, an echo, a reflected image, a mirage, or an illusion, and is indicated as precision of non-production. Perfection of wisdom is free from defilement, as greed, hate, and delusion have no own being. Perfection of wisdom knows no purification, as no possible receptacle, which might have to be purified, can be apprehended. Perfection of wisdom is spotless, as space is spotless. Perfection of wisdom is free from impediments, as spontaneously present throughout and beyond any and all mental attitudes to dharmas. Perfection of wisdom has no mental attitude, as it is imperturbable. Perfection of wisdom is unshakable, as is stability of any realm of dharma. Perfection of wisdom knows no greed, as here is no falseness in dharmas. Perfection of wisdom does not rise up, as here is no discrimination in dharmas. Perfection of wisdom is quiet, as no sign is apprehended as all dharmas. Perfection of wisdom is faultless, as perfection of all virtues. Perfection of wisdom is undefiled, as imagination is something which is not. Neither living nor dying being is found as perfection of wisdom, as the reality limit. Perfection of wisdom is unlimited, as the manifestation of all dharmas does not rise up. Perfection of wisdom does not follow after duality of opposites, as such does not settle down in any or all dharmas. Perfection of wisdom is undifferentiated, as all dharmas are still but speciously indicated. Perfection of wisdom is untarnished, as such is free from any longing for some jewel of disciples and pratyabuddhas. Perfection of wisdom is undiscriminated, as this is basic identity to all which is discriminated. Perfection of wisdom is infinite, as any nature of dharma is unlimited. Perfection of wisdom is unattached, 
as this is non-attachment to all dharmas. Perfection of wisdom is unconditioned, as all dharmas are impermanent and merely an indication of such as this is. Perfection of wisdom is as space, as any nature of dharma is identical as impermanence. Perfection of wisdom is empty, as any or all dharmas are not apprehended. Perfection of wisdom is not self, as here is no settling down in any or all dharmas. Perfection of wisdom is markless, as here is no reproduction in dharmas. Perfection of this is of total emptiness, as endless and boundless. Perfection of this is as the wings of enlightenment, such as its pillars of mindfulness, etc., as these cannot be apprehended. This is perfection of emptiness, of the signless, of the wishless, as the three doors to deliverance cannot be apprehended. This is perfection of the eight deliverances, as these cannot be apprehended. This is perfection of the nine successive stations, as the first trance, etc., cannot be apprehended. This is perfection of the four truths, as ill, old age, and death cannot be apprehended. This is perfection of the ten perfections, as giving, etc., cannot be apprehended. This is perfection of the ten powers, as such cannot be crushed. This is perfection of the four grounds of self-confidence, as absolutely such cannot be cowed. This is perfection of the analytical knowledges, as such is unobstructed when unattached to all knowledge. This is perfection of all the special Buddha dharmas, as these transcend all counting. This is perfection of suchness as Tathagatas, as here is no falseness in any and all dharmas. This is perfection of any as self-existent, as all dharmas have not own being. Perfection of wisdom is perfection of cognition of all knowing, as such is aware within all of any modes of any own being of all dharma. End chapter 9